at home, cut the phone off. Daddy, if daddy ain't there, you, mama, you the daddy. Sit around here. We eat at five, six, set to everybody. Now, Junior, how was your day? Now, now y'all talk together. Let's get it up. But see, we run it at night. reason we can't handle it because everybody come in, daddy reach and grab a cob and stick it in the microwave. They need to throw the microwaves away. My God, the kids come in. They got theirs, everybody. And so you be like, I ain't got nothing. But we need to have your board meeting. And you sit down. That's all. It ain't supposed to be a controversy time. You get in an argument because you're going to get indigestion. But we're going to sit down. We're going to talk. And I tell you, any house that you keep on can't sit at the dinner table together, y'all going to be in divorce court. Or extramarital affairs going to come about. You think you're going to get all your business uh, solved under the sheets? You a fool. You foolish. We get in the bed. We'll work it out. Pillow talk. Well, baby, man, get out of here. You sit. You talk. It's even better than sitting in the living room. You sit. Care if you got five kids, ten. You sit them down. Sit down. Be respectful. Don't throw food. Cut the TV off. Put the cell phones away. That's why we can't govern our kingdoms, and we can be two people in the house and can't get along because somebody won't take say, well, listen, we need to meet, and we need to meet at the table more often. I know, I know, I know everybody got a plate that they had to sit in the lounge and gravy all on the sides everywhere all down the hallway to get to it, but we're supposed to sit at a table. And that's one of America's biggest problems and family's biggest problems, that people do not sit at the table anymore. Now your child is gay, and you're ready to fight everybody. Ah! Now your, your husband or your wife got some issues, and they I'm leaving in the morning. And where all this come from? I didn't know all this was going on in my life. You know, they never have no board meetings. And a board meeting is simply sitting there with one pot of bread. If y'all got to eat with your hands like they do in Asia, sopping it like Jesus. You want to eat some of this? Come on. All right, what's going on? Let's break bread together. But we ain't breaking bread. You in one room. You eating in the car driving. I ain't hungry. I already ate. Okay. Yeah, how long y'all going to run this thing like that? Then you want to come in, we can't communicate. We can't talk. You know, or you're going to get your, hey, what's wrong with you, honey? I'm mad about something. Well, good God, I got to hear it now. Company's coming in a minute. Let's go to church, baby. I'm mad about something. Married some man. Let's go to church, honey. I'm mad about something. Oh, my God. I married you, and every Sunday I got to go to church by myself like I'm single. I married you. I laid down and had your babies for you. I'm cooking and cleaning for you. I even clip your toenails if you ask me. Scratch your back. And you can't go to church with me. You know I sing in the choir. You know I'm on usher board. I didn't sign up for this. And the man's saying the same thing. Something wrong with our kingdoms because we don't understand his kingdom. Okay, I'm going to finish. Lord, help me. We got to work on our kingdoms. Bring our kingdoms. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. As for me and my house, need to come in submission to the kingdom. And when we're submission to the kingdom and house, I don't care if you don't have a husband, whatever, when we come to the church, we can. That's why the Bible says let the women that have questions go home and ask their husbands. It wasn't putting a woman in a lesser place, but it was saying that if you didn't understand, maybe your other half understood. So y'all go home and talk about it because we ain't going to argue about it up here. That's what the Apostle Paul said. He wasn't saying, woman, shut your mouth, your husband's your boss. He was simply saying that you don't understand kingdom principles. Same way if a man got a question. You don't understand what's going on at your church? 
Baby, we got usher board. We got 3 o'clock meeting. I won't be there. I'll put you down. Da, 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 da. But here's what's going on. I forbid you to go. Oh, well, wait a minute, player. Where your money at? I give tithes to the church, honey. 10% of my. You know, you the whoa there, player. It's my money. Whoa, player. Oh, that's negotiating. Cut loose off, man. Put on. Patty, little she don't she don't sing gospel. Put on. Somebody. I'm trying to help somebody. Any problem I've had in life, in my kingdom, because I'm not the only one got a kingdom. My wife has a kingdom. I can't just move furniture in there and say, let's throw all this out. I want it. I demand it. She said, whoa, player, hold on here. But she's something she knows she can't do. She said, no, because that would disrespect him. I can't go in this room and throw all these gadgets out. I'm sick of this. I'm not your 16-year-old kid. Anytime you notice in the earth when people are having problems, it's because the kingdom of God hadn't come to their house. They just put it where it is. We go into a marriage problem. Okay, your marriage needs to line up with the kingdom. I got a boyfriend, but you know, he's just in a kind of limbo right now. Somebody ain't walking in the kingdom. Because when you're in the kingdom, you know that we can only be that close to friends so long. Would you marry me? And you either say, I do. Yeah, stand up. Me and Nike here are no longer. <laughs> but we are Joseph and Mary. Y'all help us, pray for us, as we try to get our kingdom together. Amen. So when I do that, she off limits. He off limits. And I bring, we submit ourselves to the kingdom of God. Don't let nobody see us doing stuff we're supposed to be under the kingdom of God. Don't mean we grown as Adam's her birthday. We ain't going to turn it up nowhere because we in the kingdom of God now. I don't care. Like, you know, I like to party when you met me. Guess what? Uh, we're in the kingdom of God. And I want you to evaluate your lives. When them people coming to you, somebody ain't in the kingdom. Because in the kingdom is joy, peace, and righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom of God where there's joy, peace, and righteousness. If you in something and it's all the time y'all fight, man. I had single people come to me, been living together for 10 years, want me to counsel them. Counsel us. We ain't getting along. Well, how long y'all been? Well, about 10 years. Well, you think about it. Because after you get married and some of the stuff you go through to stay married, you say to yourself, the only why I'm here Still, because I made a covenant with God first. And I made a covenant with this person, but it's hard, it's tough. But there ain't no way. I need an amen if this is the truth. There ain't no way I'm going to stay with you and put up the mess with you and you ain't covered me. <laughs> Can I get an amen? amen? Can I get an amen? amen. Cause you know, all, if you've been there, you done been with somebody a long time and you say, you know what? I made a vow. We got these kids. And Lord, if I was a younger woman, I'd be out, younger man. But I made a vow to Jesus. And, and I love them, but I don't love this. But we are married. And after you've been married and you've done that, you see these people hollering about, pray for me and, me and Bozo. We just ain't seen. So you want to say, fool. Run away.
run away. And yet we try to counsel people. <laughs> well, maybe if you, shoot, you got one week. <laughs> you can't give them all the made them they want. You got one. Do I need to put it in writing? Shutting down the candy factory. Shutting the grocery store. But you got one week. <laughs> Tell me what it going to be. Because I am back on the market of freedom. You got one week. Tell me, you can't do that. You can't do that. Okay. <laughs> Stand on your feet. All I'm trying to tell you, the kingdom should come to our house. Your house ain't got to be perfect, but you got to say, kingdom come to my house, wife, children. That's why we need to finish what God wants us to do. Let's make a covenant. I ain't kissing no more earthlings. <laughs> Somebody said, I ain't ready yet. Well, <laughs> get ready. If I meet you and you talk like an earthling, you're a nice guy, Tom and Jerry, which one is you? Tom or Jerry? <laughs> he said Tom and Jerry, just him and his little brother. <laughs> you, you Jerry, man. <laughs> Tom is the cat, mate. <laughs> That's Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> all, all my friends. <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> but that, that was the Lord. <laughs> Turn around, look at the people. Look at him. He looked like Jerry, but we're going we, we to call him Tom. Come on, Tom. This is my boy. <laughs> if you can get Zymir to smile, man, it's a good day. <laughs> you got a pretty smile, Zymir. You're going to change the world, man. Lord, I repent of being so earthly minded, I must know heavenly good. Come on, let's just pray. Ask God to help you with your kingdom. Mother and daughter, father and daughter, me and my beloved, we engaged. Somebody on the fence, been married a long time. I won't help with my kingdom. Me single by myself, ain't nobody in the house. I won't help with my kingdom. Come on. I ain't just trying to rule. A kingdom, a king has to have a domain. You got to have something to rule. You ain't since calling yourself a king, you ain't got nothing to rule. And we don't rule each other. We rule together, which means to dominate. Amen. You got a spirit and I got a spirit. My spirit in the God is no lesser than yours and yours is no greater. But we bring them two together and that's the significance if two can agree on earth is touching anything. So the first thing we're going to agree with, that we're going to either do the thing or we're not. And then once we decide that, we're going to decide whether you're going to go to college, you're going to stay home and have babies, we're going to work the details out. Both of us going to work from home, we're going to start a business, we're going to work the details out. We're going to get to the loving, but let's work the details out. Because if we work the details out, the loving going to be off the chain. We'll be inseparable. Am I right about it? Well, can we get an amen and praise the Lord? Shoot, I ain't worried about nobody stealing you because you messing up your own kingdom. Ain't that right? I ain't worried about nobody talking to you because, you know, that means your kingdom finna split. You're going to lose some stuff. Ain't worried about nobody taking you. You shoot your own foot. Run around looking at everybody. Don't you do it talking to my woman? Talking to, you know, she she was jacking with her kingdom because she's gonna have to give up to everything. And then when we worship together, 
we already know how to submit to one another. You hear me? And then we know that the pastor or the ministry is not your Lord, but trying to bring order to a kingdom. Because you are a king and I'm a king. And the only reason why you have problem with anybody's authority in the house of God is because you don't see yourself as a king. You don't. Can't talk to me like that. I'm talking to the spirit. Never called your name. I'm dealing with the spirit. And as a king in your house, you dominate. Come on, let me finish this. You dominate. Your kids come in there and they acting crazy. Leave me alone. I'm going to my room. Bam. Oh, wait a minute. I need to deal with the spirit. I'm a king. And they're king too. They're royal. But we need to come together and fix this. So the fact that we got to deal with the ugly mess don't mean that you are lesser than. It just means that somewhere, are you tired of being on your throne? What's the problem? Because you jeopardize it. Come on, children. And God don't want you to lay down and take it from nobody. You ain't got to fight. He don't want you. He wants you to speak up. You have less women holler, I'm abused. He don't love me and don't respect. Well, you've been 10 years not saying what was in your heart to be truthful to begin with. I didn't say you got to be mouthy. I'm saying you the one ain't said nothing and negotiate because you were taught to just to negotiate with your body with a man. Now you got to do real negotiation. You bring emotion to it and not logic. Then you join church somewhere and you drop that spirit off in the church. And then when someone in the church exercises authority, you think about what they let you get away with as a little girl, a little boy. Sound like my daddy. Okay. You, had, you probably had daddy issues and mama issues. Because we didn't bring the kingdom home. We brought church, y'all. So I'm giving you a heads up on what God is doing from heaven in the earth. He ain't trying to establish no churches. He closed them down. He's establishing kingdom-minded people. Start reading Matthew. Kingdom-minded people. Somebody asks you to go to my house, go to. Somebody smites you on one cheek, turn the other. Not all this, there ain't nobody going. No, you ain't in the kingdom. You in the earth. Forgive. Anybody offend you, they offend me. Better they have a stone around their neck. It's a kingdom. Everybody prefer one another. Now you, you, you have your way. So children, get in submission to your parents. Husbands submitting to their wives and wives submitting to the husband in the Lord. You can't make me do nothing. It's sinful. And if you want to get sinful today in your conversation, then submission is that I'm not going to jump in there with you. I'll just leave then. You're talking earthly. You can't take care of yourself by yourself. If you will work on your kingdom at home, you'll be glad to come to church. Come on, let's praise him. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You know, I could, could come work on your kingdom at home. Amen. Amen. Now, how many will agree? That, that if they did that, things would be much better. Amen. Amen. What's your name? Raina. Bless you. You have children here? That's all right. That's all right. You have a kingdom. Just know that. You don't have to be a preacher. You don't have to be a teacher. 
you have a king. Amen. Charles, you have a king. Sister, you have a king. Amen. Sister, you have a king. Brother, you have a king. You have a king. Children, you young men, you have a king. You don't have to join the gang. You're already part of a king. You have a king. Sleep by yourself, you still have a king. Is that right? Let's rejoice. Let's thank God. I have a king. Yeah. I want your blessing over my kingdom. You have a kingdom, daughter. You have a kingdom. Candy, you have a kingdom. You have a kingdom. Amen. Now, I want you to take somebody by the hand as we close, and I want you to pray for their kingdom. Get Pray for my sister here, if you don't mind, first lady. And if we, brother, grab somebody. Pray for their kingdom. Their kingdom may be under attack. Come on. Pray for their kingdom. I've seen time where I'm living heavy. I've seen time where my kingdom was under attack. My children and my grown children are still part of my kingdom. Amen. Me and the wife, finances, one of us got health issues. That's all attacking my kingdom because that's going to mess with my livelihood, my income, my peace of mind. That's going to drive me to, to, to doing stuff I shouldn't do, wearing I shouldn't wear. But come on, ask the Lord to bless your kingdom. And those of you who are single that are waiting on somebody, you still have a kingdom. Get your kingdom together. Get your finances together. Get your, uh, get your portfolio together. That's the time to make remodeling. See your house. Put your apartment. Get, your, get it together. Take that cruise. Come on. You ain't got to stay at home and cry. Bless this daughter, Jesus. Bless her. And bless her kingdom. As part of the citizens of heaven, she has a kingdom. Help her to walk in that kingdom. That means there are things that you want from her, things that you put in her, that if those things don't come out, the kingdom will suffer, the kingdom in earth. She's part of a bigger com- kingdom, which is the kingdom of heaven. Come on. She's part. He's part. My brother, he's part of a bigger kingdom in the name of Jesus. Help them in the name of Jesus. Make negotiations, whatever needs to happen in Jesus' name. Bless them. I bless them. I bless them. I don't curse them. I bless them. Come on, let's don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Bless my two sisters. Bless them in the name of Jesus. Bless their kingdom. Bless their kingdom. Bless their kingdom. Bless them, Lord, for what they do. Bless my sisters. Bless their kingdom. Both leaders. Both carry authority. Carry weight. Bless my sister. Come on. Go find somebody else, pastors. Go find somebody else. Bless the people. Bless their kingdoms. We bless their kingdom. Their king, their children, what they put their hands to. Bless their kingdom. God, they have authority in the earth somewhere. That somewhere you've given them dominion. And somewhere that dominion is under attack. Whether it be health, peace of mind, financial. But we decree in the name of Jesus. Come here, sons. Let me touch you. These are kingdom boys. These young men belong to the kingdom. They don't belong to the streets, gangs, drugs, penitentiary, or an early death. But these young men have purpose, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want to see them in heaven. 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 I want to see him in heaven. I want to see him in heaven. I want to see, see these beautiful boys in heaven. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, bless her, Lord. Bless her kingdom. Bless that that you've given her authority over. Bless that that you've put in her hands. Don't let anything steal it. Time, trouble, whatever. God, I thank you. Keep her kingdom. Let her kingdom flourish. Oh, God, like the Queen of Sheba, in the name of Jesus. Bless her kingdom, that it will be strong. Bless it, Lord. Let it flourish. Let it prosper. Let it be strong, like the Queen of Sheba. Oh, God, give her much gold in Jesus' name. Hey, get out your roll for a minute if you hadn't prayed for somebody. Young people, I need you to help me. Bless, go pray for him. Bless his kingdom. Bless his kingdom. Let your kingdom come in earth as it is in heaven. Bless his kingdom. Bless this child's kingdom. Let the authority that you've given them to walk in, let them walk in it with all power in Jesus' name. Let nothing break down his kingdom. Bless their kingdom in the name of Jesus. May the kingdom that you've put in their heart, in their hand, be strong. Let it flourish. Let it flourish. 
let the desires of their heart come to pass. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Come here. Let's bless the kingdom. Bless the kingdom. Bless the kingdom. Bless what you put in our hands. Bless the wisdom, the gifts, the things you put in our hands. These are things to further the gospel. In the name of Jesus, Lord, anything that come against your kingdom principles in her life, Lord, we ask that you would give her the grace to tear it down in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, bless the kingdom. Bless the kingdom. Kingdom in her life. Kingdom. Let the kingdom come. Let the power of God come. Let the wisdom of God come. Let his plan come in Jesus' holy name. Hear ya, Baba. Kobosa. Bless the kingdom. Bless the kingdom, the power and the glory that you put in his hands. Bless that, Lord, that you've given him to do in the earth. Lord, bless that, that you've deposited in his spirit. Bless that, Lord. And you, anything come against that, give him power to tread upon it in Jesus' name. May his kingdom flourish. May her kingdom flourish in the name of Jesus. May it flourish in spirit, soul, and body. May it flourish, God, in all that you have put in our heart. Desires would come. Lord, your will would come in earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' holy name, bless the kingdom of this young girl. In the name of Jesus, let it be blessed. Let her walk in power, demonstration of the Holy Ghost and Spirit. In Jesus' name, bring her forth. Make her, God, a star that shines with brightness in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, bless you. Bless you, brothers. Bless your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, bless your kingdom. Bless their kingdom. The kingdom, Lord, that you'll put in their hands. Help them to occupy. Help them to stand. Help them to enforce. Help them, Lord, to guide, to lead, to teach. Oh, God, in anything that comes against the kingdom principle that you put into their life, Lord, let it be tread upon with power in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, bless the kingdom. Bless the kingdom. Bless 